Yes, sir. I'm back. Your boy's back. Welcome to the Bubble Dub Show. I know it's been a long time. Super, super long time. But never mind all that. I'm back. You here. That's all matters for my newcomers that's watching this Bubble Dub Show. You're going to hear the word trash. You gonna hear it, so don't get in your feelings, don't get upset. That don't mean the actual people that I'm talking about is trash. I'm just talking about a game performance or something that they did was trash. Also, you might hear the word like rolling over in their grave. That don't necessarily mean that they're dead. I'm just saying that they're rolling on their grave, just saying that they are just probably upset or what just went on in this game. With all that being said, welcome to the Bubble Dub Show. Let's get ready to rock and roll and make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because you're going to want to know when I'm dropping this heat. Do you hear me? I got more heat than Pat Riley. I'm letting you know right now. The Bubba Dub Show is here and let's go. Y'all already know how I'm starting this show out. Talking about them Lakers. Yeah, the Lakers, what they did to the New Orleans Pelicans yesterday, 124, 108, Lakers win. Lakers went down there and knocked the seafood ball out them boy. Yeah, they did that. Now, let's get down. Let's break the game down. AD came out yesterday and set the tone. I'm talking about set the tone. like He, he played like he was dark-skinned. Let, let's just put it out there. Played like he was dark-skinned yesterday, and that's what it's going to take for the Lakers to win. Now, they got to play again. Yeah, they're going to have to go out and play New Orleans again, but guess what? It don't even really matter. Now, what really matters here, do the Lakers want to go out and beat New Orleans Pelicans again and face Denver? Or do they want to lose and play the winner out of Sacramento and the Golden State Warriors? Well, I'm going to give you my opinion, just being honest. The Lakers is an old team. We all know that. LeBron's 75 years old. Hey, my advice, go out, beat New Orleans again, knock the French quarters out their ass. Beat them and go on and get ready for the Jokic and, and the Denver Nuggets. But this is what it's going to take. For the Lakers, this is what it's going to take for the Lakers to win it all this year. This is what it's going to take. Everybody going to have to be on one accord. That means everybody going to have to be dialed in. No social media, no, no girlfriend problem, wife problem, none of that shit. None of that shit matter. This is a team sport. We need everybody focused. We going to need D'Angelo talking ass Russell to dial in. Yeah, dial in and focus. That means setting everybody up. Getting everybody the ball in their right positions, in their hot spots. Hey, you like the ball on the elbow, catch it, face up, either make a move or pass it. LeBron, you know, he like to get the ball and hold it for 35 goddamn seconds. We ain't doing that shit this year, bro. We ain't getting the ball and holding it. We ain't. We going to play hot potato with the ball. That's what we're going to do. Austin Reed, we going to need your ass running off them screens, off them curls, and letting it go. Yeah, that's what we're doing. When you let it go, you get your ass back on defense. Because a lot of times, y'all like to shoot the ball and watch it go in. We ain't doing all that. We doing Steph Curry move, shooting it and, and turning around, looking the other way, knowing you know if we go in or not. That's what it's going to take. Now, another thing, Vanderbilt on the bench hurt. Supposed to be healthy. We going to need you back, fam. We going to need everything you got. Huchamara, we going to need everything you got. We going to need 10 to 15 points from you every night. Austin Reeves, I need 15 points from you. D'Angelo Russell, I need 18 points from you. We know Braun going to give at least 25 or 30, 80, 25, 30, 13 rebounds a night. <laughs> there we go. That's what it's going to take. Darwin Ham, I'm going to need you to take your hands out your damn pockets. That's what I'm going to need. A.D., I don't want to hear about no more uh, eye injuries. If that's the case, go and get Kareem Abdul-Jabbar goggles and put them on your damn eyes. And let's play some ball. Because that's what it's going to take. Yeah, right now, Dr. Buss rolling over in his grave right now. Dr. Buss believe in winning. We talking about rings, championships in June, bling bling, hanging battles. That's what the Lakers is known for. So that's what it's going to take for the Los Angeles Lakers this year to win it all. No, not, t not turning the ball over. Shooting a great percentage from the free throw line. Free throws matter, man. We're going to need to be taking 30 free throws and making 19. You ain't going to win like that. We need to shoot at least 40 to 42 percent from the three-point line. That's what it's going to take for the Lakers this win this year. And if they win um, the next night against Pelicans and they go and play Denver, that's going to be a tough series. But I think the Lakers is the only team that's in the West that can upset the Denver Nuggets. I know they got Jamal Murray. I know they got Jokic. They the defending champ. I know this. But the Lakers have enough talent on their team to win it 
all this year, no if, no ands, and buts about it. I know LeBron is dinosaur age, but he has one of the best IQs in the game of basketball that we ever seen. So with that being said, if them boys come dialed in like they dialed in back in their play-in tournament, you know, early in the year that, that, that they won, if that Laker team show up, Oh, they going to win it all. It's, it's, it's not even nothing to question. It's not even nothing to debate. But it got to be some changes with the players. And the change is going to be we'll never see LeBron hugged over Jenny Buss again. Do you hear me? Buss, a fan, I like to kill LeBron when he got to that damn high. But what's wrong with you up there on national TV? Got your arms around no milk or magnesia. Boys, you crazy? I know you're the king and all, but you ain't the king of that damn high. Savannah Hills. Now, who want to argue with me? Hey. We got everything, and us men, we be having everything going on in the world, everything good. But if everything ain't right at the house, you ain't going to be right. Trust me on that. So I got the Lakers coming out the West this year. Some of y'all going to call me a fool, but guess what? That's my team. I'm riding with them. We doing this shit for Kobe. Do you hear me? And A.C. Green finally going to get him some ass this year. Lakers going to win this shit. Lakers and seven. A lot of y'all been crying. You were hollering six last year. That was last year. We got our ass swept. So real sure, Lakers and seven. Stay tuned, man. Real talk. And hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We just cranking up over here, baby. Let's go. Now I want to talk about no other than sorry ass Doc Rivers. Do you hear me? The team was gelling before Doc Rivers got there. Doc Rivers come to Milwaukee. Now they record 17 and 19. Trash. Should have stayed your ass in the nursing home, Doc Rivers. Ah, oh, you thought you for to come in and get you an easy ring, huh? Never. That ain't the case. You got the fucking coach. And guess what? You ain't no coach, Doc. Yo, oh, you thought we forgot about that record you had with T-Mac when y'all lost them, lost them 19 and 20, 20 games in a row? You forgot about that? Tracy McGrady should have choked your ass then. Same way Latrell uh, Sprewell did, P.J. Colissimo, same way T-Mac should have did you. Then you got lucky and went to Boston, got with Paul Pierce, the truth. Then you end up getting a trade with Kevin Gardner, Ray Allen. They fouled in your lap with Ray John Rondo in the draft. You know, you, you had some great players, but it wouldn't cost a you. Because you ain't did nothing there. You ain't did a motherfucking thing since they adopt. Then you went to L.A., robbed the Clippers. Donald Sterling out there, tricking with the hole, and you still didn't win. But now and then you go with Philly. You had James Harden, had Embiid over there, big feet, sketchy wearing Embiid over there, and still didn't do nothing. Now you want to run your ass out there to Milwaukee where it's cold at and think you finna do something with youngers. Never. And since we're talking about youngers, how your brother going to miss a dunk? Motherfucker, you got one job. You got one job. And you can't even make a dunk. Trash. So, to get my opinion, do I think Dame Lillard coming to the books was going to move a needle? No, it did not. I hate to say it, Dame. You ain't winning shit over there with Doc. You ain't winning a damn thing over there with Doc Rivers, man. Y'all had a coach. I don't know what went on internally or what, but y'all had y'all coach. Bringing Doc Rivers in was a terrible mistake. I get it. He got a ring. It, that, 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 was, that damn ring is ancient. That's the only thing Doc Rivers holding on to is that one damn ring. Let that shit go, fam. Let that shit go. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Yeah, you over here with Bubba Dub now on the Bubba Dub show in the volume. Stay tuned. I know y'all seen Allen Iverson's statue. I was mad as hell not seen that small-ass action figure statue. I was about to go off. But then I realized Philadelphia all got them same-ass small statues, and that's why they always come in those small and big moments. Man, you got to go big, man. AI statue should be tall as the damn Statue of Liberty. That's just my opinion. Of course, he didn't win. I get it. He didn't win a ring with the Sixers, but he took them. He took a team full of nobodies like me, my skills, to the damn finals. Now, somebody remind me where Eric Snow at right now. Matumbo, besides he building schools and, 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 and hospitals and shit in Africa. But who else y'all remember on that team, man? Uh, huh? My point exactly. AI. AI was the answer. AI means so much to the NBA, it don't even make sense. He changed the culture of the NBA and wearing cornrows, but we call them braids where we from, uh, baggy clothes. and that. It was, he brought style. He brought swag to the game. So 
We salute you, Allen Iverson, what you did to the game of basketball, man. We we love you. We salute you, brother. Uh, I wish you could have got a ring, but you didn't. But that's not going to diminish what you did on the court, bro. Like, you mean a lot to some of us. You you really raised a lot of us, AI. And I was just kind of disappointed when I seen that small-ass jack-in-the-box statue pop up and not knowing that the rest of them are small, too. But other than that being said, I want to thank you, Philadelphia, for even giving that man a, a, a trophy, man. We, we, we want to thank y'all for that 76er organization. And, um, yeah, stay tuned, man. I got more cranking up over here. It don't stop. Got some on my mind. Got some on my heart. Yeah, I got some on my mind. Dub going through it right now, man. Um, Detroit Pistons. Money Williams. I'm all about my black people getting jobs, but Money William, your ass got to go. Do you hear me? You ain't do a damn thing with them Detroit Pistons this year. Not nothing. Joe Dumore rolling over in this damn grave right now. Isaiah Thomas rolling over waiting on Michael Jordan under calling. Trash. Come on, fam. You got to go. Now, you got fired from your last job. Then you picked this job up so quick, you didn't get time to sit back and chill and, and, and really, va uh, you know, um, you know, Evaluate yourself, fam. Like money with you know you gonna be a good coach in this league. But right now you're not it, fam. And I know a lot of people wanna say Detroit young, but goddamn, how long they gonna be young? It ain't the players, it's the coach. You got to put the players in the right position. You got Kay Cunningham up there, you a, a rising young star. Now I don't know, I'm gonna be I think y'all won 19 game. That's pitiful. That the people of Detroit don't deserve that shit. There's some great people in Detroit, and they deserve a winning team. Football team almost had it. Now, here y'all come with this bullshit. Y'all got to do better, Detroit. Matter of fact, I'm coming up that way. Yeah, I'm going to be in Toledo. April 21st at the Funny Bone. Matter of fact, my people in Detroit, I know y'all watching. Man, y'all meet me in uh, Toledo. Yeah, April 21st at the Funny Bone. Go and grab them tickets. Meet me there. We can talk about this shit. Everybody excited again about Tiger Woods. Everybody keep asking the big question. What would it take for Tiger Woods to win again? Win again. Simple. Hoes. That's what got him, now. That's what going to take his ass out. Hoes. Y'all stop holding Tiger Woods and the other celebrities to these high, high standards that they can't do this and that. Let Tiger Woods sleep with many as hoes as he want. It was a beautiful thing watching that brother put on that green jacket. Now every time I look at him, he he hurt. Uh, he got back spasms and all this and that shit. Come on, Tiger. Y'all let Tiger get back with these hoes and watch him start winning. Now, Tiger, I heard you the other day say, my back tighten up. Well, I got a solution. Because we all know Anthony Davis had back spasms the other day. But he in the right place down in New Orleans. I know a witch doctor right now that can heal both of y'all. Do you hear me? It ain't going to call for $2,500, and y'all got it. So, Tiger, AD, any injuries y'all have, any ailments y'all have, I know a witch doctor down there in New Orleans right now will heal your rabbit foot ass. Letting you know right now, Tiger Wood played good Friday. Saturday, you played okay. Everybody decided to see you come out on the green Sunday, and you didn't do a damn thing. Shot the worst you ever shot in your life. Trash. You look at your son, Charlie, was so disappointed in you. So dis He was even out there trying to teach you how to swing. Now, what I want to know is, Tiger, what kind of hoes was you sleeping with? Because I know you're still sleeping with some now, but, is, I, but I want to know, can we go back and, 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 and gather, that, gather that fire that you used to have, that eye of the tiger? That's the Tiger Woods I'm used to seeing. This tiger him is like you on Xanax and everything else, fam. Yeah, put them Xanax down and get you a perk, fam. See, <laughs> I'm telling them Xanax don't do it. Them perky 30s will get you right. So, yeah, Tiger, that's what Tiger Woods need to start winning again is some better hoes, better booties. Better tits, better toes, you know, white toes for the hoes. Yeah, that's what Tiger need, them hoes with the white toes. And I know, I know y'all know about this rap beef going on right now. Yeah, BBL, Drake, and Lipo Suss and Rick Ross going at it. Hey, I'm loving this shit right here. This is what rap need because ain't none of this going to spill over into the streets because Drake ain't a street guy. 
You know what I'm saying? So this just some friendly competition that's going on, and I love to see some shit like this because the way Rick Ross be riding them beats, you got to give him credit, man. Ross got, got one of the nasty flows in the game, and you got to respect it. Now you got Drake, you know what I'm saying, texting his moms and shit saying, Ross out here doing prawns for money. <laughs> <laughs> that shit funny as hell to me, man. Real talk. And Rick Ross responded quicker than the wing stop orders. Do you hear me? He didn't wait no two and three, four damn days. He responded quicker than the wing stop orders. Shout out to Ricky Rose. Now you got Kendrick. He coming back. Yeah, Malcolm X talking that J. Cole bowed out. I respect it. That ain't his style. Well, since that ain't your style, you did the right thing. Sit your ass over here with me. And let these boys battle. Watch, watch, watch. Watch how Kendrick Lamar come back out. Watch how Drake respond. Watch how Ross respond. Future, where you at? Where your, where your hot ass at? You, you, ain't, you, ain't, off, you, ain't, off the, you ain't off this shit yet either. You gonna have to, you gonna have to drop some balls too. Metro, met, what, Metro booming, your beat making ass, stay out of this. You can't rap. You just make the beats. Let the rappers rap and you make the beats. That's all I'm saying. Rick Ross. Correction. Lipo sucks in Rick Ross. BBL Drake. And Kendrick Lamar. Hip hop fans, let's enjoy this. Because this is something the game been missing for a long time. Tupac rolling over in his grave right now. Loving this shit. Don't think Tupac ain't loving this. Easy loving this shit. This is what we need. Competition. You better than me? Prove it. But at the end of the day, nobody getting hurt. And that's what we have to start being examples for these people. We can talk our noise, all trash all day long, but we all going to go home to our families at the end of the night. That's living. Nobody going to grab guns. And, well, this ain't what this about. This is lyrical battle. I'm enjoying this. Y'all should enjoy it too. Everybody asking me, who do the Cowboys need to draft? Is it a quarterback? Hell, they need to draft Jesus. Because that's what they're going to need. That's what they're going to need to win. Everybody else got better except for the damn cowboy. Everybody got better. Now, I want to know what's going on in the morning meeting with Jerry Jones. What, what kind of food are they eating? Is it still pimento cheese and crackers and unsweet tea? Or is it water? Is it champagne? Whatever it is, the shit not working. Us fans sick and tired of getting excited. Each and every year, it's our year. We got C.D. Lamb. Who else we got? We got Michael Parsons. Huh? We got Diggs. You know Diggs like to dig in them hole. We got him. But who else do we got? Our quarterback is not illegal. I'm sorry. Dak Prescott is not a leader. I don't give a damn how many kids he have. He still ain't going to be the man of the Cowboys. Now, if we get somebody in the trial, we're going to need a quarterback. We need somebody to run the ball. We need somebody to tote that pill like Michael Jackson, old doctor. That's what we need, somebody to tote that pill, man. In critical, in critical situations, that's what the Cowboys need. Fourth and two. Can we hand it off and can you go and get it? That's what I want. Can you go and get it on fourth and two? Or do we have a running game strong enough on fourth and two where we can play action off of it and the team defense actually bite? That's what it all boils down to. Can we run the ball consistently enough where the defense bite when they think it's on fourth and one, fourth and two, or are we going to hand it off? That's what it all boils down to. Jerry Jones need to stay out the way. Stay your old ass up there in the booth. Let fat ass Mike McCartney do what he do. That's all. Or get a coach in there that knows what to do. Now, I'm hearing it's just speculations. It's just speculation. But I'm hearing Coach Prime could be the next coach of the Dallas Cowboys, bringing his son, a.k.a. Roley Shador, with him. Now, that will be a sight to see Coach Prime coaching the Dallas Cowboy with his son. That will be awesome. And we all know, and that also will be a money making thing because we all know Jerry Jones is about his money. But getting off gears off the Cowboys and to Coach Prime, Coach Prime, your ass better win this year. I, just, I do that right now. Your ass better win this year. 
You how do you need some more dogs? Drake dropped the album. God damn it, let's go and get it. You got Warren Sapp, skull dipping ass over there, helping now. Damn it, y'all better win something. I'm riding with you till the wheels fall off. Last year, y'all come out hot as fish grease. Do you hear me? Y'all was hot. Middle of the season, y'all were colder than a polar bear nuts. I was sick. All that Coach Prime talk, God damn, I was sick. But I stood in the paint with you. And I'm going to stand in the paint with you again, Coach Prime. I'm standing on business with you, I believe. And what you believe in, man, is raising these young men up from boys to men. Because a lot of these young men ain't got fathers in their life, and you are that to them. So I want to salute you, Coach Prime. I want to thank you for doing what you do. Appreciate you for that. Real talk. We lost a legend, y'all. R.I.P. O.J. Simpson. I know a lot of y'all, Caitlyn Jenner, your remarks were distasteful. Just nasty work. We understand how you feel about OJ. Because he was sleeping with your ex, allegedly, Chris Jenner. That was for your time, boy. You got to let that go. Now, when people die, we're supposed to celebrate them. No matter what y'all think of OJ, we're going to celebrate that brother for what he did in the NFL. Oh, yeah. Boy. Was cold. The man was cold. Ain't him. He was cold. Matter of fact, my uncle Ray grew up with OJ Simpson. Real talk. I can't make this. My uncle Ray grew up with OJ. I'm about to call him, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. I'm about to call my uncle. I'm gonna let him tell y'all a little something about OJ Simpson. Hey, Unc. What the hell you want? I'm here on my podcast. Yo, what? I'm here on my podcast, and I want you to tell these people. About uh OJ Simpson. Who? OJ. I don't know no goddamn OJ. I know the nigga about Arentia. Yes, Unc, Arentia. Tell us about Arentia Simpson. Well, hell, well, shit, hell. Yeah, he's one of the greatest goddamn running backs ever. Well, hell, he, he went to uh USC. Yeah, boy, yeah, but nigga was cold. Nigga got run a raccoon. I'm telling you, uh, he was the Heisman Trophy winner in 1968. And, God rest his goddamn soul. They'll never find that goddamn Heisman Trophy either. And, you know, Orenthe was, was, was the first running back to rush for 2,000 yards back in 1973. The nigga was awesome. Now, I know the world don't like him because they think he did that to old Nicole. But, no, that nigga ain't did nothing to that goddamn Nicole. Hell, he wasn't that bright to start out with. Hell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Orenthe wasn't that smart. I see, I see you know, we, we played ball together. But you see, I, I didn't make it. You know, I went off. I, I, I dibbled and dabbled in drugs, nephew. Hell, you know, see, that's why my left eye don't work like it supposed to. But, yeah, OJ was one of the greatest running backs ever. You know, they had the Walter Paytons and Emmitt Smiths and Barry Sanders. Shit, them niggas couldn't touch on my rentio. Yeah, so I want the world to take the time out of the day and, and give thanks to a rentier. A man was a good nigga, and, 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 you know, he used to write me from time to time when he was in the penitentiary and all, but he wanted me to put money on his books. But, hell, I don't even take care of my own goddamn kids. How am I going to take care of your grown ass book? But well, it's good talking to you, nephew. All right, um, I got to get you later. I got to get out here and catch these goddamn fish. I'll let you later. That was my Uncle Ray, y'all. Like I say, man, from time to time, I'm going to call and check in with him, man. You know, that's my stack guy, girl. You know, he know everybody, man. Too many people that Uncle Ray don't know. I hope y'all <laughs> enjoyed that phone call as much as I did, man. Appreciate you, Uncle. Love you, man. I'll be hearing from you again soon, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. This is how we rocking over here on the Bubba Dub Show. Y'all know what time it is. Trash of the week. And trash of the week going to Curtis Jack. Not Curtis Jackson, not 50 cents, not him. Curtis Jack from Georgia. This man, this animal, that's what he is, a damn animal. They just sentenced him to 50 years. I hope they gave his ass 40, but they gave his ass 50. Gave him 50 years for poisoning his own daughter with antifreeze so he wouldn't have to pay child support. Trash. You got to be a demon to poison your child. So you don't have to pay child support? That's crazy. You could have just signed over your damn rights, fam. Why would you go and do something? I can't even fathom it, y'all. People doing these things to kids. I live in Texas. 
each and every day my damn Amber Alert going out because somebody kidnapping kids. Leave these damn kids alone. Sick of it. Now this damn fool, idiot, demon, Curtis Jack, he don't even deserve 50 years. He deserve the needle. Putting poison to a baby, that's what they put in you when they kill you down here in Texas. When they hit you in lethal injection, poison. They need to give him the same thing, Georgia. He used to do it. Keep doing it. Give his ass the needle, man. People like that don't deserve to be on this face of this earth. All behind child support. You want to kill your child. Could have been anybody's child. Think about that. That could have been anybody's child. And you want to go and do something like that? That's terrible. So that's who getting trash of the week. Curtis Jack. Say, man, say, man. If you like this show that you heard here today or you even watched, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so we can keep this thing going over here because you're going to want to know when I'm dropping this heat. You might be at work. You might be at the bank, get, you know, depositing money. You know what I'm saying? You could be doing all. You might be at church. You're going to want to know when I'm dropping. You know, I, your, your baby mama going to want to know because she's going to want to laugh. You're going to want to laugh. Share this with your whole family. Don't be selfish. Share me. Share me like y'all be sharing them, 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 them damn oxtail videos y'all be watching. Share your boy. Yeah, we coming to you. At least we shooting to be out five days a week over here on the Bubba Dub Show on the Vibe. So cut your notifications on. We got merch coming. We got everything coming over here on the Bubba Dub Show. But just thank y'all for watching this show. You know we coming again tomorrow. And again. And again. See y'all again next show.